A photographer's today's conversation is about this beast here that I'm holding in my hands that is completely gonna change. If you're not using one yet, you need to start using one because it's gonna completely change the way you edit pictures. Let's get it. So when it comes to uh, picking the MIDI controller, you're gonna have quite a few options out there. Um, there are some more expensive ones, there are some less expensive ones. I ended up with this one because of a few reasons. Uh, I think um, this one is Behringer's um, X-Touch Mini and uh, I really like the price of it. It's around, it's, it's around $50. Uh, I had it for like five years now. Uh, I really like the size of this guy. Fits in the backpack when I travel. Um, I like its power options. All I need is a USB guy. I don't need to buy a, um, um, I don't need the power cord. So just that is a big selling point. If you decide to go with a different brand and a different model, you need to make sure the knobs you're picking are encoders and not just analog, uh, regular rotary knobs. It resets to the current value of the adjustments to the picture when you look at it. And when you jump to the next one, it adjusts, everything adjusts automatically. So all you need to do, you start turning the knob and adjustment starts happening. You'll see it in a second when I'm gonna be showing um, how to do it in the Lightroom. So uh, I'm just basically using those couple buttons to jump between the files. Uh, yeah, um, let's just say this one is a little maybe too bright. I'm gonna bring uh, exposure a little bit down that one and maybe I'll keep bringing it even more and then grab a brush tool and uh, paint it over uh, and maybe because it's set to the half stop maybe I'll set it to three here here we go uh, maybe two just for fun I'll use the gradient here and I'm gonna bring it's a little too extreme but just uh, just for the demonstration purposes right uh, and maybe I'll even straighten the picture. Maybe I'll straighten it even more, crop into that here. Here we go. Um, let's go to the next one. Again, maybe it's still a little too bright, so let's bring exposure down. Uh, let's edit this one a little more funky. So maybe let's drop the temperature. Uh, let's, let's drop the temperature down, maybe to, to turn the blues off. Again, maybe let's brighten this up a little bit. Maybe let's use gradient again kind of thing uh, here we go this is not necessarily would be my final cut but I think it works for the demo purposes right so you see you see um, um, the speed I'm moving through those and I think again like I think it's more useful when um, maybe you're working with them um, events like weddings or just events uh, and less may be useful because I normally don't go through each individual file when I'm working um, which in studio headshots because it's such a controlled environment you work with right um, this one is programmed to undo the previous uh, action that I done so um, so yeah you see the you see the possibilities of using MIDI controller when editing your pictures in Lightroom all right, I hope that video was helpful. Um, before I peace out, uh, I'm just gonna mention again that if you a wedding or event photographer, this gadget, you really need to pick one up and give it a try. 50 bucks, it's nothing uh, for the amount of time it's gonna save you. I forgot to mention that you are gonna need a plugin for this MIDI controller to start communicating with the Lightroom. And I'm gonna put the link uh, to the software below but it's called midi to lightroom um so check it out uh there are plenty of instruction videos how to set it all up it's gonna take you some time but once you up and running uh you're gonna be really thankful you did so so um good luck post some comments let me know how it worked for you i'll see you in the next video peace